The three officers and two Waukesha County deputies involved are all on paid administrative leave. We need to stress that is standard procedure in cases like this. Now, one of the Milwaukee police officers accused of illegal strip searches is pleading no contest tonight as part of a deal. Michael Vagnetti is accused of looking for drugs in dark and disgusting places, and some think that he is getting off easy. Fox 6's Myra Sanchez has the new controversy. Michael Vagnini is accused of conducting illegal body cavity searches and illegal strip searches of men in his custody looking for drugs. There is no desire to re-victimize these individuals if we don't have to do that. That's why, in part, prosecutors cut a deal to dismiss sex assault charges. I am, in my opinion, convinced that had we gone to trial that this um, would be a case where he would not be found guilty of his sexual assault charges, as Ms. Falk said in those uh, that in require an intent. I don't think there was ever an intent to become sexually aroused or sexually degrade. But others believe Vagnini should be a registered sex offender anyway. When a white police officer, without consent, forcibly puts his hand up the rectum of a black citizen, they call it an unclassified misdemeanor. So cops are allowed to rape African American citizens and get away with it. Robin Shello, who represents some of the victims, says she hopes for federal charges in the future. The possible sentence three and a half years per felony, 90 days per misdemeanor, adding up to more than 14 years possible behind prison. The sentencing is in June. Live in the newsroom, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Myra.